What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. This is the Asics DS Lite X-Fly 4. And in today's video, I wanna give you a recap of what the first month, month and a half has been like wearing these unbelievable football boots and why I think these are one of the most slept on football boots on the market. So we're gonna pop this one down and as you can see, it's been very well used, uh, especially here in the stadium on turf. What I wanna do in, is go through all of the aspects of this football boot um, and talk about how durable they are, what the sole plate is like, the upper, the leather materials, all that stuff, and really give you guys a sense of should you buy this boot or should you buy something else. So let's start with the sole plate. So this is a very, very basic sole plate. Uh, excuse the sound in the background. Uh, very basic sole plate, mostly conical studs in this one. Um, you've got four in the back per most traditional football boots, and then you've got two, four, six, eight in the front, which is fantastic. And what they've done in these stud is in the review, I mentioned that it's a conical stud but with little cutouts so it ends up looking a little bit more like a three leaf clover if you will and what that does is it really provides an awesome amount of pivot power but also enough bite when you do lateral cuts and stuff and i wore these in uh, a lot of my training sessions towards the end of the season at Flower City here in Rochester. And I will tell you that this sole plate has been absolutely fantastic. It gives you a really good amount of lift and unlike, it doesn't have anything like a Carbitex insert in it, but what it does do um, is it does have a lot of durability and it does have quite a lot of snap back and roll. So you really do feel like you're up on your toes. It gives you a really nice sensation while running. And I know this sounds kind of weird, but especially when you're doing long sprint workouts, like sometimes I'll do, if you guys saw in uh, a training session, or I guess it was a vlog several weeks ago when I was here with Ryan, I did long sprints and I was doing them in my F50s, but these are my go-to boots for sprints because they actually feel almost like a running shoe in how great this sole plate uh, acts as pushing you forward. So for me, this is a really slept on sole plate. I think it's super simple. I really like conical studs for any sort of surface just because it gives you um, a really good ability to pivot and have some lateral stability as well. It's not gonna be as aggressive as a speed boot, so to speak, but this boot is actually, although it looks a lot like a speed boot, isn't meant to be their speed boot, it's meant to be their all around one. So for me, this sole plate is an 8.5 out of 10. I really like this sole plate and I think it does a great job of keeping you just engaged in the ground and, uh, yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, along with the sole plate, let's talk a little bit about the insole and the way that this boot feels uh, underfoot. So not the sole plate, but um, this insert and also just the way this boot feels, uh, especially on the ground. Um, this boot is one that is a really unique sensation when you first put it on. So it actually has quite a decent amount of arch support. I wouldn't say it's over the top, but it's much more noticeable than a normal pair of, well, normal pair of football boots, but most of the other football boots on the market. And what that does is it really helps your feet feel comfortable in these football boots. So they might be lightweight, they might be thin, they might be super durable, but it really does give you a, a feeling of sitting in a pair of the best running shoes. Like it's super comfortable um, where you're low to the ground, but you also have that little bit of arch support. And this is why this boot has been one of the boots that I take with me to all of my trials. Um, I actually take my sort of my match shoes right now, which are the Battle Pack remakes, but then I take these because these are the, the boots that I always fall back on for comfort. If I want just something that's gonna be, I know is gonna perform well and it's gonna be excellent on feet, this is what I go for. And this insole is part of that reason. And the little bit of extra arch support is definitely part of that reason. So for me, that means uh, the insole is a nine out of 10 for me. The, I love the way it feels underfoot and it's fantastic. Let's talk about the upper. So there's two parts to the upper. There's um, this synthetic, sort of synthetic faux leather material in the midfoot and heel area. And then you've got this kangaroo, beautiful kangaroo leather in the forefoot. Um, this is a little bit stiff because I, the last time I wore these was a couple days ago. Um, so it's a little bit stiff, but it is really nice and soft out of the box. You get uh, almost a Mizuno made in Japan uh, type leather in the forefoot, I would say on par with that. Um, definitely, definitely premium, premium K leather, which is amazing. And then the synthetic material in the midfoot is fantastic. And the reason being is because number one, it's got the uh, moist teched 
uh, which is basically ASICS ACC technology, which means that the leather and this upper actually stays really dry when, uh, or not dry, but it kind of wicks the water away when you're on wet pitches or in wet surfaces. Um, and because it's the synthetic leather, they're able to engineer it so that it stretches and molds to your foot, but not too much where it overstretches. Oftentimes in leather football boots, you get you know, the overstretching, and so they'll have to compensate with different stitching patterns and stuff like that. This upper is just unbelievable. And I really think this is one of the most underrated uppers on the market right now because of how soft it is. You've got a suede lining on the entire uh, the entirety of the upper. So even underneath this leather material, you've got a suede lining. So when you put your foot in this upper, it gives you such a premium sensation on feet. And I, and I don't understand, like for me, I was not expecting to go into this boot. I was like, oh, people have asked about the ASICs boots. They're so good. And people in Japan love them. And I have some friends in Australia who wear these. And uh, one of my friends who's actually on the Australian national team, um, Brandon O'Neill, shout out. Love you, man. Uh, hope you're doing well. And uh, But he wears ASICs boots. And he was uh, at Perth Glory. I think he's now somewhere else on the East Coast, but he plays in Australia in the A-League. And he always spoke so highly of these. And I was like, man, I gotta get my hands on a pair. Was not expecting much. These completely blew me out of the water, I gotta be honest. They look a lot like a Morelia Neo 3, not the beta version, um, but the made in Japan Morelia Neo 3s, uh, with the ones without the kind of knit material in the middle. They look almost exactly the same and kind of have the same construction. Um, but for me, these are much more suitable for wide-footed players. I actually wore the Morelia Neo were they twos or three betas? They were white and gold. And they're in a couple of my old videos when I used to just film with a GoPro on in Australia. So you can go find those on my channel. Uh, and I was wearing those and they crushed my midfoot because they weren't wide enough. These ones are wide enough, which is such a cool sensation. I love this type of silo. I think it looks really excellent. Um, and, and this upper, again, is so, so, so good. They have a little bit of grip elements here on the instep. So when you're passing the ball, it does give you a tiny amount of grip. It's really not noticeable. So I wouldn't put too much stock in like, you, you shouldn't buy the boots just for these, I would say. Um, but it does give you a little bit of extra padding and a little bit of uh, nice little connection with the ball, which I think is really awesome. So for me, this upper is a 9.5 out of 10. That's, it's the best rating I can give. I absolutely love this upper. I think it's fantastic. Let's move into the heel area. So the heel area is very similarly constructed to a lot of the Mizuno, Morelia, Neo, products, right? So it's a really thin kind of up into the Achilles area and then opens up as you get closer to the heel cup. And for me, the lockdown in this heel is so good, guys. Like, honestly, you will not be disappointed at all with this heel lockdown. I love it. Again, as I said before, the interior of this boot has suede all around. So regardless of whether you're wearing grip socks or non-grip socks, you're gonna be totally locked in in this boot. Um, we'll talk about laces in just a second, which helps with that. But this heel area is fantastic. Fantastic. For me, it's one of the best heels on the market, especially with this external heel counter. It gives you a lot of lateral stability when you're cutting really hard. And for me, it's a 9.5 out of 10 on the heel area. This is one of my favorite heels and upper combinations on the market right now. Now into one of the most important and slept on parts of football boots, the lacing system. If you can see, number one, how deep it goes, and number two, how wide it's able to come. And for me, that is bar none one of the best aspects of this football boot because I can adjust all of these different lace holes all the way up here depending on how wide my feet is my foot is in each of these areas and that's something that not a lot of manufacturers do a lot of them just have a really thin lace cover um, they've got you know a certain amount of width that they're allowing in the upper these ones not so much as you can see it is really really wide and for me that is the best possible case scenario especially for a boot that's this good um, this comfortable and of course uh, that's this adjustable as well what they've done too in this tongue area is they've put two different like lace holes in the tongue. And so the tongue doesn't slide back and forth. And for me, that tiny little bit of a design element is absolutely crucial to the performance of this lacing system. And so this lacing system for me is a 9.5 out of 10. It's so good, it's so good. I cannot tell you how much I love these football boots. Um, I am, 
as of the filming of this video, I literally two days ago just filmed my unboxing and on feet portion of like my initial review of the DS Lite X Fly Pro, which is their speed boot version of this boot. Um, they, they get sold side by side. Technically, the speed boot one is like the higher tech one, um, but these are sort of marketed as like the all around lightweight, comfortable boots. And straight out of the box. I'm not actually sure which one I like better. I think they're both excellent. Um, but these ones, because I've broken them in, have such a nice feel to them. And I just cannot express to you guys how much I love these football boots. So overall performance, overall thoughts, final thoughts on this boot is it is one of the most slept on boots on the market right now. It is some, It is a boot that I would absolutely wear in games. It was. It is a boot that I would absolutely wear in training sessions and I have worn in training sessions. It performs really well. You have such a nice elegant touch on the ball. You have a slight bit of padding with that premium K leather, but then you also have the lockdown and the responsiveness of the synthetic leather midfoot and heel area with the lockdown of these excellent lacing system. And for me, this is, probably the most underrated boot of 2022 as, as far as i know right now um, definitely don't sleep on these if you're in america and you want to buy a pair of these go on ebay type in a6 ds Lite x fly 4 and then your size in us and it'll pop up you can buy them straight from retailers in japan that's how i got my, this one and the pro model um, they are excellent for me so overall rating for the a6 ds Lite x fly 4 is a 9.25 out of 10. These are a fantastic pair of football boots, one of my favorite of all time, honestly. These are these are some of my favorite boots. I'm so excited by them. I get stoked every time I see them. I think they're beautiful in this red colorway, and I just think they are excellent. So overall performance, given excellent durability, there's been no separation of the sole plate, very well constructed, um, durability is excellent performance in wet weather and dry weather conditions has been excellent. Comfort over the course of time has been excellent. There's been no slippage in the way that the leather overstretches. That's been great. So for me, 9.25 out of 10 football boot for the A6 DS Lite X Fly 4. If you guys enjoy this type of content and you want more one month reviews on boots that are maybe a little bit less known to the world like A6 or Mizuno, some of the more uh, sort of niche Puma models, definitely let me know down in the comments below what one month review do you guys wanna see next. Hit that like button if you like this content. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, be awesome, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.